can't believe those fuckers were keeping folks prisoners there, waiting for their indoctrination. <sighs> Thanks for springing Jess. That niece of mine is as tough as nails, but she's got a knack for trouble. Check in on her for me, would you? Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. This way. See that? That's his calling card. Innocent people burned alive. Damn cults grabbing everyone. They'll take you from your home, the bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. And anyone who can't or won't fight for him winds up dead. Cullen the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter innocent people. Nobody believed it was happening because nobody wanted to believe. Bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. Locked up though. Treats people like fucking animals. Keep them in cages. Okay, let's do this. But keep your head down. They spot us, those hostages are dead. Shit. Guess quiet ain't your thing. Go 
Joseph knows what's best for these poor lost souls. <laughs> years back, Jacob sent one of his guys out to round up this family. Parents and kids. First thing he did was starve them. Gave them nothing. You look lost or something. Not even a drop of water. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. The kids puked it right back up. Cook didn't like that. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. Hold up. I think I heard something. Going loud. tried to arrest them. There was some kind of petty scientist injecting the wolves with something. Pretty sure that's how Jacob turns them into judges. Jacob hasn't gotten to you yet, has he? To the cook. He had the parents on posts and decided to give the kids a little water. And then he asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. The cook asked if they want pork. Yes. So he went out to the parents and took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market and the blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. Pretty 
assume there were no more piggies left. So he laughed. And set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. When they finally stopped screaming, I looked around, and he was just... gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. It deserved. Hit, I guess. Dutch was right. Cook's dead, and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy, and now I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Dutch has been right about a lot of shit lately. The cult, Eli. Maybe he's right about you too. You uh. You need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh... Thanks. For everything you've done. if it wasn't for you. Thanks. No one's safe anymore. They torch anything to prove a point. Hell, they even burned down poor Chad's restaurant. Heard he's hiding out in the woods. Maybe you can go see if he needs any help. We're all rooting for you. 